Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are gonna showcase one of the reasons that everybody has lost faith in their fellow teammates. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. This one is gonna be interesting. I guarantee it. <laughs> we are in the Borodina. Borodino. The uh, test ship for the Tier 7 Russian battleships. Um, or more along the line of a battle cruiser. Considering it does have, I believe, the Stalingrad Hall or something along the lines. Um, I've learned a little bit more about this ship since I've, I've been playing it. And uh, this was actually a uh, revelation to me. You see... I've mostly been in a situation where I've been moving relatively well. I can angle. I can keep myself in a, in a position where I can defend against the enemy. Um, but I ran into a couple of games while I was playing on this particular morning that this game occurred. Where I didn't have a choice but to stop. And if you stop in this ship while two American battleships are bearing down on you. They don't have to get your broadside to kill you. All they have to do is aim for superstructure or up towards your guns. And they will murder your face hole with impunity. Because of that 25mm upper bow. That is not ideal. Okay. Keep that in mind. Or is it 27? It may be 27. I forget. I think it's 25. But, but what happens next can only be described as... Um, not ideal. So we take a shot at the Richelieu. He's bowing. We see it. We see a cruiser coming over from the the middle. That's that's usual. Oh my God! There's the Sinop there as well, and we're broadside to the Sinop. There's not a whole lot I can do about this except hope to God that this is the salvo that the Sinop does not get the greatest RNG on the planet. Unfortunately, let's be real. It's me. So uh, we take some nasty hits from the uh, the Italian cruiser out there that we didn't know existed um, he popped up momentarily and then disappeared so quick and then used the smoke and then fired at us but as you can see we've got a uh, British heavy cruiser charging me and I'll be honest I did not see this coming until he got here he was spotted on the minimap as we proxy spotted him through the island but fortunately for me I noticed just in time and he was a little greedy he wanted to wait until the last second so he could get all of his torpedoes into me. But uh, he's in a, he forgot that he's in a British heavy cruiser. You can't make that mistake. You better dump those torpedoes immediately. Otherwise, you'll never get them off. Because you will be dev struck. You're in a British heavy cruiser at close range. There is no pass and go. There is no collecting $200. You're done. As he found out. Now, here... We're going back to shooting at the Gneisenau because he's still broadside, so we're, we want to take advantage of that. He is angling away a little bit, so he only gets hit with three of those shells. But if you look, uh, my battleship buddy that's with me is sailing out in the open still, not able to get to an island to use for cover or break contact. And the cruiser is not doing a much better job than he is. They're both just kind of sitting there in a position where they can be shot at. Obviously, they're shooting at the battleship first, um, and I'm trying my darndest to save my team, right? Like, I'm doing everything I can. I've lost a lot of hit points, too, in the sheer stupidity that has occurred so far. Uh, we've got the entire enemy team against us. This is why I try to get to this island as soon as possible, because it's a defensible position. And as our friendly, uh, I think it was a King George V, just found out, Defensible position, if you don't get to one, and the entire enemy comes against you, you're done. You, I don't care what ship you're in, you cannot sustain that level of incoming fire. Now, our cruiser is behind an island. But he has chosen to, uh, he needs to come out and, and actively start spotting or helping our destroyer or whatever, or our cruiser that's in the middle of the map or whatever it's going on here. I don't know what's going on. But he has decided to leave the island that he was sheltering behind. Um, again, 
There are still three battleships and two heavy cruisers. Well, one heavy cruiser. One of the cruisers backed off and went to the middle and just died. But this is still a winnable game. There is no reason to get into a position where you're going to get annihilated, right? Now, the Richelieu here is doing something that I actually don't hate. It, it's unfortunate for me because... I don't like it in my situation, but uh, Amalfi comes around the corner. We go ahead and take the shot just as he smokes up, and we're going to get a pretty good hit on him there. Uh, but unfortunately, we get two overpins and one full pin. Now, he was making a full turn there, so I don't know what happened to that shot. I don't know if we managed to uh, not lead him enough. Maybe he uh, was accelerating faster than we gave him credit for. But here you can see Sinop is turning away, so we're going to take a shot at him. We know we overmatched, so we just aim high to try to get as many shells into his upper as we can. Trying to avoid the belt, at, if at all possible. But we're again trying to limit who can shoot us here. We know the Amalfi can't stay smoked up forever, so we're just waiting. He's going to come out, and when he does, I want to be ready for him. But the Richelieu is not playing around. The Richelieu is weighing his options and he realizes that now is his chance to strike. So there are two things, two ways that this fight could go. <clears throat> I could get in a fight with this guy and look at this Amalfi like come on. I take the shot aiming in front of him. He goes dark immediately again and he somehow survives again. This time we citadel him. We've taken a lot of his hit points. We're up to 121,000 damage, by the way. Um, we are basically the only one that has managed to do anything to the enemy team on this side of the, the map. But uh, Richelieu comes around the corner, over-angled his crap. He uh, probably underestimates the Borodino a little bit, and we almost send him packing. Through the bow, side plating into the Citadel, but unfortunately only getting the one Citadel. If we would have got another Citadel, there's a real possibility we send him packing. But... Because he looked at our cruiser pal, once again, our cruiser manages to leave the island at the worst possible time. Uh, he looks at our cruiser pal and uh, smashes our cruiser, which was an Azuma. And uh, that was a terrible shot by me. The Amalfi was going much faster than I gave him credit for. I'm trying to get angled here. The enemy Richelieu is starting to turn his guns towards me. Uh, I'm trying to get around to get my guns on him and unfortunately there's just not a whole lot I can do. I gotta try to stay angled. The enemy uh, manages to punish us and then of course the Richelieu puts a shell through the back. Remember we only have 25 millimeters of, of plating so it's it's still capable of overmatching us. But uh, we did set some fires on the Richelieu so that is that is good news. We have 170,000 damage and it's still ticking. Uh, we did everything in our power to give the team the best possible chance of winning. Let's let's re remind everybody what we were up against. We had a Richelieu. We had an Amalfi. We had a Sinop. We had a Gneisenau. We had a Albemarle on our side of the map. And what did I have for support? An Azuma and a King George V. Or Duke of York. It was a Duke of York. Same thing. Um, but as we, we get to the end of this, uh, this match here, you can see that they finally put out the fire. He has no health left. Surely this cruiser can finish off this Richelieu as he, uh, narrowly avoids getting absolutely sent back to port. And unfortunately he doesn't manage to, uh, kill the Richelieu, even though the Richelieu has no health. But our entire team died. How? Like when you consider what we were up against, essentially solo, and we managed to put up 182,000 damage against the ships that we were against, how does the rest of the team fail so hard? These are the questions that everybody has to like think about during a match. Okay, like how do you fail? so hard during the match. Is it one stupid decision that gets you sent back to port because it's high tier and every mistake is punished by immediate huge damage? If so, 
then you have to you have to think what occurred, what made you think that, and how you can correct it going forward. Right? There's no hate there. There's no shame there. We all get caught. We all make mistakes. We all get sent back to port early. Again, have a seven hour live stream of ranked battles where I made several several mistakes early, got caught, and immediately sent back. We do as much as we can in the time that we have before we're sent to port, but still, at the end of the day, it's just a matter of time. If you make those mistakes at these higher tiers, you will be sent packing. You will be going back to port. Now the problem is that it becomes a domino effect. It compounds. So one person makes a stupid play at the beginning of the game, loses his ship. That tilts the balance of power in the enemy's favor. And it takes a ridiculous effort for the enemy to over or for your friendlies to overcome that deficit that you created by dying immediately. Make sense? What was a 9 versus 9 is now an 8 versus 9. And if you did nothing before you died because you went out and got yourself into trouble early without being able to really make anything happen, now it's not just a 9v8 where the enemy team has taken some damage, but it's a 9v8 where they're still pretty much full health and ready to go. So, then the next person in line, did they try to follow you? To support you in the situation? If so, now they're in the same situation that you were in. Where they're in a bad position and the entire enemy team can focus you. And then, of course, then it becomes 7 versus 9. And so on and so forth. So, again, these situations aren't solely based on one player's actions. It's a team game. But, you put your team in a huge deficit by getting yourself obliterated early in the game. You've got to make sure that you're doing your best to put yourself in good positions, like we expressed with the Kansas, but also make sure you're in a defensible position, where you can limit who can engage you. But we get top of the leaderboard, and it wasn't even close. Like, we get 500 more XP than even the Cleveland, who was in the middle of the map, who actually killed a cruiser, so I give him some credit. Pretty much everybody else on the team didn't really accomplish a whole lot in their time of existence. So, again, it, it just becomes a sand bat or a, uh, a domino effect. So, try to pay attention to what you're doing. Give the game a little bit of time to develop before you fully commit to putting yourself in a, in a sketchy position. We'll just call it that. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.